Holy oh mackerel. Oh my goodness. Jake. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's the most oh heavy I've ever caught. <laughs> That's why it was so heavy. Look at all the I was kidding. I didn't even get a dozen. We got more than a dozen. Oh. But Sam and Joyce here. We're back out on the uh, St. John's again, going to set our crab traps. And we're trying to do better than we did the last two times. So we'll get back to you while we're setting the traps. Well, we got various types of baits today. We got well, we got sand trout there, maybe some is there whiting there too. Yeah, whiting. Whiting sand trout. That's the same up there. Down here we got some chicken, ladyfish, ribbon fish, grunt, mackerel uh, racks or carcasses. So we got a little bit of everything. All right, Joyce, a little deeper than we usually said. It's about 15 feet here. Okay. Yeah, give it a try right here. Well, we got 14 foot here. We'll try that. I think that's got a shorter rope on it. All right, Joyce, we got about 18 feet here. About 16 feet here. We're scattering our traps all over today, trying to find a, a hot spot. <laughs> we'll try here what we got, just 12 feet here. So we got 14 feet, that's pretty good. Okay, Joyce, you can put the last one here. We only got 12, 12 feet here, but we'll give it a try. Well, our trap's been just setting for one day. We only let them one day this time. Let's see how we do with just a one day soak. We usually saw them set in two days. But I got a theory that the, once in a while you lose a crab, because I know for sure we do, we've done over Swanee. I had a trap I put in the back of our seawall and had four crabs in it. I let it set. The rest of the day, I pulled it in the morning, had four crabs. By the end of the day, I had three crabs. So I know they can get out. So we'll get back to you when we're pulling the traps. Okay, we're coming up on our first trap. Let's see what we got. We got Joyce. Oh, that's pretty nice. good. Yeah, that's good. That ain't bad. Okay, five crabs. No giant ones in there, but it's pretty good. Well, yesterday we set these traps. We actually pulled this one after it was out for a couple hours just to see if it had anything in it. If anything in this area, we set them. And it had two crabs in, in a couple hours. That's kind of strange. You think overnight you'd have a lot more in this. But we're, we're satisfied with what we got. Here's our second trap. I think this one had chicken in it, isn't it? mess in there. Yeah, wow. oh, that, Four, five, six, seven? Oh, yeah, at least seven. that. Yeah. All right, that's good chicken. Maybe eight. Oh, up there. Possibly They're eight. all over in there. Yeah. Wow, okay. that's great. Yeah, there's some nice ones there. Yeah, that one's real nice. Right? Yeah. Two of them right here. Nice. There's still some little ones there. There's a little guy there. Yeah, he's little. He's the last one. He's going to be released. Yeah. There's our third one. So we gotta beat seven crabs in one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Seven. 
<laughs> but look at that big guy down there. Yeah, look at that look guy. trying to get out. He yeah. can't fit. Yeah, he's trying to get out the skate rink. <laughs> he's drained right anyway. He remembers when he was just young, he used to get out. <laughs> he's not getting out, you crazy crab. <laughs> There's some pretty crabs there. Look at the color. Yeah. These St. John River crab. They're the prettiest crabs. Look how blue. Just beautiful. Yeah. That light batch crab there right there, right? Yeah, yeah. Coming up on our fourth trap. We got a beat seven, right? Maybe we'll, skip, okay. maybe we'll go right to a dozen. Yeah. See him? Yeah. Oh, it's the red one. It's the red one. That's waiting. a heavy truck. Here, give you a hand. This crab's good. Holy oh mackerel. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's the most oh heavy I ever caught. <laughs> That's why it was so heavy. Look at all the I crabs. was kidding. I didn't get a dozen. We got more than a dozen. Holy oh my mackerel. word. That was, uh, what was that? What was that fish? Ladyfish. That was the ladyfish. Yeah. Just one oh piece of lady. Oh my gosh. That made it just too many to count in there. Wow. <laughs> you gotta Holy be mackerel. kidding me. That's enough. You only need one trap if we're all like that. Oh my! That is absolutely gorgeous. Old deck full of crabs. I'm glad you bought me my boots because I sure wouldn't want you my sandals. <laughs> oh, I don't want my sandals on. Look at them all. There's so many down there. Look at them all. Here's the fifth one. You want me to pull the rest of them? You'll be overboard if you touch this track. I think you don't you know want to lose your job? Oh, no. You want all the fun? No, you're not touching it. You're only dumping it. <laughs> Some people say, how come Joyce pulls the trap off? Because <laughs> I don't have a choice. Now, if you can't get it in, let me grab it. Yeah, it's a light trap. That's a, it's a normal. Seven again. Huh? <laughs> Seven's the number. <laughs> well, got three traps. It'll be days of picking. Ooh, they're coming back at me. There's a little guy. Still those little ones here. Look at them crabs. This is the best day we had in probably years so far. Six. We got seven traps. One in there. They're all, yeah, yeah, a couple they're of all nice. nice. There's one little guy. What? Yeah. Oh, gee. Oh, that's not that's good. That's a terrible spot. 
Right. We can't complain. No. We cannot complain. No, no, we can't complain. No. We got three crabs. Right. Well, we're going to head in now. We did great today, right? Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. But the best I guess we got about 70 crabs in there. I know, well, I know we cool. called over seven. We had little ones. I threw a lot of little ones back. So there must be, a, you know, maybe 70 in there. That's a lot of crabs. That's the most we've caught in quite a while. That's too many crabs. I gotta clean all of them. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta pick them. Yeah. I mean, you gotta I'll clean them. them. I don't mind cleaning them. You don't want you me can to pick, pick them. them. No, you don't have enough for shells in the meat. Huh? If you pick them, yeah. they're all shells. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I gotta figure some different kind of recipes in there. Yeah. A lot of crab meat. We'll get back to you when we get back to the house and see what we're going to do. Steam them up or boil them, whatever, however we're going to cook them. We'll decide when we get there. We're all done cleaning the crabs. So what I'm going to do with this pot, most of them are going to go in here. I'm going to, this is for our dinner tonight. And uh, about eight crabs will go in here. What I did here, I parboiled the potatoes and I dumped that water in here with some more water. So we're going to get the big pot started first. That was really a surprise, that one pot, 30 crabs in it. Oh yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen that. Tablespoon of old bay. Tablespoon of garlic. I find boil them like this instead of semen's good too, but for some reason they get a lot of the the, the spice gets into the meat and it makes it I mean, taste better when you boil them. They're all gonna fit in there. Yeah. I, yeah. My new favorite pot. You got your vinegar out. I gotta get that out. Another tablespoon of Old Bay. We're going to add a quarter cup of white vinegar in here. Same way over here, we'll just an eighth of a cup in this because it's a small pot. And I'm going to cut up some lemon. Just chunks of lemon. Just squeeze them in here. I think that vinegar works. It makes it easier to pick. Yeah. Seems so. Over to this pot. There's boiling in here. How many are we cooking that pot? Eight. That's tonight's dinner, mm -hmm. right? That's tonight's dinner. Same thing. The garlic powder in the old bay. Let's dump the potatoes in. What I did, I made extra potatoes uh, tonight, and I'm going to make a potato salad tomorrow with what's left over. It makes a real good potato salad cooked in his crab juice. It's really good. And that lets out the water you cook the potatoes mm -hmm. in. And some, I put a little more water in there also. And then goes the corn. Is that called potato water? Potato water, <laughs> yeah. No, it, it'll make the crabs good. It's got a little bit of flavor from the potatoes. Mm. 
And just a light sprinkle over the corn and the potatoes. lid on, like I always say, crack your lid just a little bit until they come to a boil. And this is a big pot. It was boiling. It's just going to take a little while to come back up. This pot gets real hot once it gets going. And we're going to boil these because there's so many in here. I'm going to boil this pot for 15 minutes and this pot will boil for 10 minutes. Okay, this put pot is boiling so we're going to put the lid on I do keep a lot eye on it because it's, it's where this is bubbling it's lava this one's lava to boil over this one's almost ready I just yeah that's boiling too so we're going to set the timer for this one for 10 and then this one when we come back and dump these out we'll set this for the remainder of five minutes so you're going to cook the big one for 15? Yeah, the big one's going to go for 15 minutes. The dinner crabs are done. That looks good. Mm, smell it. done. Yeah, <laughs> so they're done. So yep. now I need to set the, the big pot for um, five minutes more. These, I'm let, I was going to let these boil for 15 minutes. So they had their 10, 10 minutes and now it's another five minute has that they have to go for. These crabs are done. Mm. Nice More good smell, oh, right? It's a nice pile of crabs, Joyce. It's a big pile. Yeah. And the dinner looks great, you know, as usual. That's our mini crab boil that we have all the, every time we have mini crabs. Mini crab boil without Brussels sprouts. Yeah, nice. some, some, well, we fried some and did some in the oven, right? Yeah. So you're going to try one of them claws? Yeah. This is my favorite thing when they're, when they're warm. The claws are really good. So they pull that out. Look at that meat. piece Look of meat. That, meat. That, is nice. that call me is really mm. good. Different. Mm, that's good. Oh, look at that nice piece of meat in that's there. Good. Look at that. That's uh, a nice piece of claw meat. You want it? You want it? No, you can. You get a taster. Mm. I'm going to eat all the rest of them. That's good. Mmm. So if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching.